Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, it's a little bit late right now, so I'm just talk like I'm. I'm just. I'm gonna just be really, really mellow. But I don't, I don't think I need to be necessarily whispering. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to start up a new series. Um, everybody's favorite old series, which is the Monster Spotlight. Something I actually had to put on hold for a very, very long time. Um, mainly because I, I like you know, had these like notes written down and then had this cue going on. Um, and we're going to be continuing this series now. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, actually, I had a lot of people on queue, but a lot of them didn't actually have the monsters that they wanted to spotlight as their rep. And um, I kind of just went down the queue list to find the first person that actually had still had the, the rep that they wanted to spotlight as their actual rep. So um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna do a test run, and I'm gonna be using this this water valk by Magic Life. Um, now he's actually been he or she I I don't know um, probably he because like 98 percent of my viewers are male, um, but yeah he he's been waiting in queue for a very very long time in order to for me to do the spotlight before I even moved to Canada uh, while I was still in Taiwan he's actually been waiting in queue, and. Um, we're gonna we're gonna actually start up the series. I'm gonna be making monster spotlight videos probably every single day for the next few days. Um, you know until we run out of people in queue. And all right, so uh, without further ado, this is his, his water valk. It is on ruin um, HP attack uh, crit rate. So this he has 13% attack here. 18.5% crit rate here. So I think it adds up to like maybe about 97% crit rate, very, very close to 100. And um, I think with the addition of my Jin's crit leader, we will be able to get 100% crit rate on this Valk. Now, the good thing about the Valk is she actually has a very, very strong first skill, meaning that you will be able will be able to kill the Moonvars very, very easily. And um, she also has a 100% armor break, similar to the Fire Succubus. So I thought she, she would actually be a better unit to use than the Fire Succubus because of her higher base attack and how she is actually, you know, a nat 5. Um, so we're going to do the exact same run. I um, he, didn't, he didn't actually give me a topic, just he wanted to spotlight this monster. I thought the best way to use this Water Valk was to actually use her in a Golem Speed 10 run. So yeah, we're gonna we're just going to do this run really, really quickly, and this probably won't be a very, very long video. Please don't freeze now. All right, let's let's make sure auto is on. We're gonna see if she can like just one shot the moonflower or something like that. All right, very very close. Now, I think there's two ways to gem the water valk. You can gem her hybrid, like like he did, um, or the other way is to gem her full glass cannon, which is definitely still doable. Um, if you want to use her for farming gold and speed ten, and you're using like a solo light tank strategy, then I do. Do uh, recommend you gem her with uh, with full full attack, like full glass cannon build. I think that's definitely a little bit better. Now the really really good thing about her is she actually has very very high base attack plus the like you know 3,400 plus the passive skill which is predator, meaning that um, there's a very very high chance that she will be able to kill most units um, you know, in one or two turns, maybe possibly in one turn if you have her on on like full attack or something like that. Alright, unfortunately the armor break got resisted. Alright, since I, since I wanted to do a speed run using this water valk, um, it probably is going to be a very short video. Won't be able to, you know, completely show off her damage and stuff like that. But I think it's definitely one of the best ways to use Water Valk, which is in Golden's B10, um, to do do a very fast speed run. Oh, unfortunate! A sap got resisted. I think uh, this Valk in this purse should be able to finish off the Golem. Hmm. Okay, I I have to apologize. 
I, I, I gotta apologize to Magic Life. This this was not a good showcase um, of his Water Valk. But I think I think it would have done a better job if it was on full attack. Um, you know, yeah, I, th I think I think to talk a little bit more about the Water Valk monster, she's she's got very very nice stats for Nat Five. I think. Um, well, she doesn't have like the greatest stats, but actually she makes up for it because of her passive skill. Now, if you take a look at her stats right now, it's basically, um, you know, she has very, very high stat distribution and attack, and she's basically like a nuker. So you can basically, if you really need to, you can build her as a full nuke, or you can build her as a hybrid. Um, most people that only have her as, as Evo 2 tend to build her as a hybrid because of how squishy her, her base stats are, but she actually has very, very high um, base attack even at evil 2. If you combine this with a predator it already makes her a very very powerful nuker even just at evil 2. But at evil 3 she gets 3400 attack which if you add on, on top another 40% um, gives you like... my math is kind of bad. It's like 400-ish. 4 or 500-ish four, four, ish extra attack which which actually is quite a lot. Like, Actually wait no that's wrong. Wait, my math is so fucking bad. Wait, let me think. No, that's like... You should be getting like... 1,200-ish extra attack. Yes, that should be right. Meaning that she's going to be hitting like super, super hard. Um, with her first skill. So, I think the good thing about using a Water Valk against um, Golem's B10 is she'll be able to kill the Moonflowers very, very easily with her high attack if you can get her to Evil 3. And then the... 100% armor break is very very nice against the golem, but it was kind of unfortunate in that run that the golem resisted the armor break on the first turn, or else we probably would have been able to kill him um, much much faster than we did. It's it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate that he resisted all of the armor break. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna be starting up this monster spotlight series um, very very soon, and thank you, uh, Magic Like, for for waiting so long for me to spotlight your water valk. I'm not sure if I did a did a good enough job. It was it was all right, um, but I, I did did think she had very very nice gems uh, with ruin and almost max crit rate. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.